Okay, to save space and time, I'm going to go kind of fast on this. Uh, first thing you want to do is open up a new file, new, and make sure this is set to transparent. If it's not, that will be either white or your background color, which is over here. Set it to transparent, hit OK. That's what you should see. But, since I already got my file open, I'm going to do this. Uh, the first thing I want to do actually is go to image. This is going to be for t-shirt size. Image size. Make sure this, let's see, the largest is that. So, that's way too big. So, I'll convert that to the height of the t-shirt image. Okay. Press F on the keyboard to do this. Press over. Okay. I'm going to copy layer, just by click on it and then drag it down to a new layer, or if you don't want to do it that way, you can go to, oh, you can just double click on it, and just hit OK, that unlocks it for you, but I, I always copy it, ok, hide the new, uh, last one, make sure the new one is selected, zoom in some, and let's use magic wand, Make sure this is set to what I need, the tolerance, and that's it, it's too much, because it's slightly like more than I want it to. So just bring it down to, say, 25. Okay, that's a lot closer. Pull down shift, select another part, and then select another part. Okay, oh no. As you see, it took off more than I wanted again. So I set it down to 5 for this tutorial. Hold that down. And I still did it too much. Okay, it's getting frustrating. Uh, that too. Still too much. Okay, go as low as I can then. And it still does it, but this is just a tutorial, so it doesn't matter. Okay, select those parts again. Okay, you know what's what I wanted. Okay, hit delete. Or if you don't want to do that, don't no, can't get that to work. Go to edit, then go to clear. Do the same thing. Okay. Now, as you know, the canvas size is not correct for T-shirt. So go to canvas size. Shows the original one up here. Shows the pixels. And switch the width to 400. And zoom back out, and it's in a center tip for me, sort of. Put down a space bar to move it. And there's that. Okay, now it's set for t shirt. Okay, let's get a double check on it. Full view. Move it around. And okay, there's no thing wrong with it. But we know there is because it's way down here. See that little spot? You can easily fix that. Okay, zoom back out. Go to File, Save for Web. Yes, I just think it's too big for the web, for internet, which is not really. Uh, as you see, I have a set for two up here, so I can see the original, and see what it would look like exported. Let's bring that down. Oh, by the way, that's control. Hold down control and hit O. And other, I mean, yeah, the number O. Oh, zero, I mean. Dang. Hold down the number zero after. Ah. <laughs> hold down control and hit zero. If you want to increase the size, hold down control, hit the plus or minus to decrease. Or hold down. Alt, control and Alt, then hit zero to bring it to the actual size. Okay, because I have it set up for two up, it shows the original and as what it would look like exported. So I go over here since I want it to be a PNG, hit PNG 24. Get that finish, and it does it for me. Okay, go to image size, make sure everything's correct. If it's not, I can change it, then hit apply, and it'll change that for me. And hit save, save wherever you want to. But I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. 
and you're done. Done. Well, actually, that should cut, cut off as soon as you say, on save it. And you, that should be it. Oh, this is pretty fast, I know. But just go through it a couple of times, you should get it. Alright. Have a good day. And thank you for watching.